How is it possible to be at three meetings on three continents in one day? Here at MIT Sloan Executive Education, we spent the last year or two experimenting with devices like this. This is a telepresence robot. Essentially, it enables a person to log into the robot uh, and use that as a way to attend an event, a meeting, be in a conversation, or even attend a class, even if they're on the other side of the planet. We weren't the first to use these kinds of devices. There are already lots of applications, such as telemedicine, uh, that enables a doctor to attend to a remote patient, for example, uh, or uses in manufacturing, where hazardous environments make it difficult for human beings to be present, uh, and they can use a device like this uh, to get their work done. We started, in fact, using these devices as a way to enable flexible working for our team. We have people not only in other buildings, but in other cities and even in other countries who are having to collaborate a lot with our team. And we discovered that these kinds of robots really enable a different kind of engagement, a much more realistic experience for those remote people because they can drive them around. They can go visit somebody in their office. They can have a conversation at a water cooler. In fact, when we saw that kind of application and how engaging that experience was, we quickly realized that maybe this would be a way to allow people to attend some of our classes here at MIT, especially people who maybe for reasons of physical disability or mobility challenges are unable or at least have great difficulty traveling to MIT to take a program. Uh, just a few months ago, uh, we invited an executive uh, from the West Coast of the United States uh, who does uh, use a wheelchair to log in to one of our two-day executive education courses remotely using one of these robots. Uh, he had a fantastic experience. He really reported that he was able to take the entire class, interact with faculty, with other participants, uh, take part in group discussions, even go on lunch breaks, almost as if he was here in person. This kind of experience really for us uh, is transformative. It opens up so many new opportunities not only for people who are perhaps mobility challenged uh, in their ability to be able to attend programs in person, uh, but even if it's just because of the pressures of working and running a global business, uh, the, the challenges of travel uh, are so significant. And this is a really uh, exciting new way of addressing that particular challenge. We're even more excited about what the future of these kinds of technologies might offer. Imagine, for example, combining uh, a robot like this uh, with 3D vision using a virtual reality uh, helmet or device. We're already beginning to, to use these kinds of devices experimentally. And as this kind of digital connectivity and bridging of the virtual and the physical workspace and classroom happen, then the possibilities for us are endless.